forecast. Well, Dave, if you're going to be outside tomorrow, I'll tell you one thing. It's probably not going to be the best day to do a lot of things because it's going to be chilly and those showers are going to be pushing in. But before we get to those showers tomorrow, let's talk about tonight. It's going to be a great football night for the most part. There will be some clouds starting to push into the area and lows tonight. It's going to be a pretty chilly one. So if you are going out to those football games, it wouldn't hurt to probably take a blanket or something to snuggle up in when you're out there watching those high school teams play. And then also there will be a chance at those weekend showers that will push in tomorrow earlier in the day heading to tomorrow. Let's look at this time lapse video, though. You can see there has been, you know, it's been a pretty nice day outside. There have been some clouds that have been in the area, but all in all, it's been nice outside with a lot of those breaks in the clouds that gave way to the sun coming through, causing those temperatures to go up above average temperatures for this time of year. Speaking of those temperatures right now, 64 degrees with winds out of the southwest at 9 miles an hour up in Warren. You can see some of those clouds are starting to push into the area up there in Trumbull County, but it's still not too bad outside. And then across the entire valley right now, temperatures range anywhere from 66 in Newcastle, 64 in Mercer. Look at the Cortland, our friends up there, 66 degrees. And then down in Beloit and Salem, 65 degrees. So any way you look at it, it's not too bad outside right now. But again, looking to tomorrow, well, it's not going to be anything like that. It's going to be pretty chilly. And what a difference 24 hours can make, that's for sure. And then before those games tonight, you know, there are some places that have a little bit of stronger winds up at Cortland, south southwest at 11 and up at the airport from the southwest at 9 miles an hour. So all in all, it's not going to be too windy tonight, but there will be a chance of a little bit of breeze outside. But let's talk about what's going to be bringing us our next chance of showers tomorrow. It's going to be right now. It's up here in Canada, parts of Michigan, and this is all going to push through parts of northeast Ohio, northwest Pennsylvania, and that's going to give us our chance of showers. And right now, the, that cold front is actually kind of hanging out right about here, parts of northwest Ohio by Toledo, Bowling Green, and also parts of southeastern Michigan right now. And taking a closer look to home right now, it's not too bad outside. There are a few scattered showers up here in parts of northeast Ohio and also in the upper parts of northwest Pennsylvania outside. And then future radar, future radar is picking up a little bit more of the showers tonight. I don't think we're going to have this much in the way of showers tonight, but there will be a chance of a few scattered showers as the night progresses. More of the showers are going to be pushing into the area tomorrow morning when that cold front starts to move through the area, especially around four o'clock tomorrow morning. That's when we're going to start to see that chance of rain really head up tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow morning going into tomorrow afternoon. Those temperatures, like I said, it's not going to warm up really that much at all. Speaking of tonight for those football games, 62 degrees tonight at 9, 59 degrees, and then around 11 o'clock, those temperatures will start to drop down to the mid 50s. And then tonight, it's going to dip down to 46 degrees. It's going to be windy in some areas, and there is going to be that chance of scattered showers. And then tomorrow, oh, I hate to say this, but look, 50 degrees. It's going to be it's not going to feel anything like today, to be completely honest with you. You'll probably need a light jacket or a sweater tomorrow. So hate to break it to you. If you're going to be outside tailgating tomorrow, you're probably going to need an umbrella as well because there will be that chance of scattered showers. I'd like to say that it's going to warm up over the next seven days. Don't know if I could really say that, though. Sunday, it's going to be 49 degrees. Monday, it's going to warm up a little bit to 57 degrees. And then looking at the rest of that seven-day forecast, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's still going to be in the mid to upper 50s. And then Thursday is not looking too bad. Neither is Friday. Temperatures will finally get back to the average high temperature. And Friday, it looks like we'll be back above that average high temperature.